Okay, the Eight of Wands, I just remembered, I just rewatched it, I believe was the energy of being informed, right? So you have rich information, don't feel like you need to cast pearls in front of swine. That's a big mouthful. All right, let's see for, I believe we're doing Virgo, sixth house, Virgo. Apply it to your sixth house if you're not a Virgo. This decision making has been coming through here, but you've picked and written the truth before and you will continue to pick and, and choose and write the truth here, the ace of sword and the upright. This is an emotional offer. You see he has the pen, he's ready to sign a contract. The pen is mightier than the sword. Because the pen grounds the sword. The sword is the electric here. So you think the thought, and you ground it, you manifest it, right? And that's what you're doing with the Virgo full moon at the beginning of March. You are visualizing and feeling how it is to have this be the world that you want it to be, right? The place of your dreams, world peace, everything paid and taken care of, all that good stuff. And you have the, the master magician, the master manifester energy to be able to do so. We all do. We just have to tap into it and know it and know that that's what this is all about. This is the soul over the physical. And yes, maybe it might need to take the crucifixion of the heart, but... All that does is make the heart come back bigger and better for the resurrection. And that's what this world globe trotting energy is, that Sagittarian expansive wheel of fortune energy as well. That Jupiterian expansion and luck, right? Pisces, Jupiterian, this is Pisces and Aries energy, where you are now empowered. The old version of you has died. The old me is dead and gone dead and gone, all of that stuff that we're talking about. Okay. Anything else here? So now you are empowered because you have your full magnetic authority. That's what the wand is. That's what the club is. The club is the wand, right? You are the leader of the club house, and you get to sign who's a part of it. And you ain't want to be a part of anyone else's stinking old clubhouse. you got your own clubhouse that you're starting, right? Two of Wands, and you advance, and you add, and you make the rules, and you claim the territory, right? You are the captain of the ship. You are the leader of the ship. You are the emotional leader, king of heart in the upright. You are tuned in to your most expansive opened heart. After surviving this Three of Swords, you come back bigger, better, and stronger, King of Heart. With the knowledge that the sword is the electrical thought, that's why the sword is going into the heart, or into the mind now. Because you have identified that which crucified the heart, Three of Swords, and the upright, the traditional image of the tarot, Three Swords and a Heart, was the thought. And you are not a slave to the thought. You are the proprietor and the arbiter of the thought. And so this allows you to be in your highest magnetic authority, your highest electromagnetic power. Queen of Wands. <clears throat> and that's what this Ace of Sword is. This is truth. This is uploads from the divine. We're calling them uploads now. In regards to soulmates, people, places, things that are going to be conducive to your emotional stability, the Four of Cups. New, exciting emotional offers and opportunities that are going to help you keep the plates spinning, keep the ball rolling. Going to help you come out of conflict. You know exactly where to allocate these resources. You are signing on new members every day, growing it bigger and bigger, rolling that magnetic ball until you are the king of pentacles. But you embody it first before you see the physical fall up. That's how we laugh at this five of pentacle energy, because you are the club owner, the club prop proprietor. You are not on the outs anymore. You are on the in, and that's what this whole spiritual realization revelation is, is that you are on the inside. They are on the outside. Okay? 
So you write this narrative as long as your heart desires. And you are valid and vindicated. And methinks that you're going to write this until you find your heart's open, right? That significant other, Queen of Pentacle to the King of Pentacle. And that's a divine match. That's a divine twin soulmate union story. There you go. Divine comedy. Romantic comedy. Let's roll this on over. Off more.